Good afternoon from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Gaylord, Michigan. This is the latest hazardous weather briefing for Tuesday, September the 10th, 2013 for eastern upper and northern lower Michigan. Starting out with our hazardous weather highlights for the next several days. Isolated thunderstorms are possible across much of northern Michigan both tonight and again Wednesday afternoon. Severe storms are not expected, but locally heavy rainfall is possible tonight across northern lower Michigan. Heat indices of the mid to upper 90s will remain across parts of or much of northern lower Michigan through early this evening. And then frost freeze potential across northern Michigan late Friday night into Saturday morning. Starting out with the current weather map, quite the active weather pattern continues across the Great Lakes region. We have one area of low pressure moving out of the eastern Lake Superior region into Ontario with a trailing cold front extending down through Wisconsin and on into the Central Plains. This area of low pressure and associated cold front will work its way down through northern lower Michigan here tonight. We do expect another batch of rainfall to develop along and behind this front and overspread northern lower Michigan as we go through the evening hours and continuing overnight. This band of rainfall could potentially bring some heavier rainfall to northern lower Michigan here tonight as opposed to east Nipper, Michigan yesterday. The system will move east of the area by Wednesday morning. Things should dry out in the morning across northern lower Michigan. However, there is a chance again for scattered or isolated thunderstorms to develop across parts of eastern upper and northeast lower Michigan Wednesday afternoon. As the cold front continues to work its way on south. Again, we're not expecting any severe storms to get organized, but any storms that do develop Wednesday afternoon could produce some gusty winds along with some small hail as well. Looking further upstream by, by Wednesday afternoon, we have yet another cold front that will sweep down into the area for late Wednesday night going into Thursday. And as we get into Thursday, this next cold front will bring substantially cooler air into the Great Lakes region to wrap up the work week. Cloudy skies are expected on the, through the day on Thursday. Cold enough air spills into the area Thursday night. And cold enough to even talk about some lake effect rain showers over parts of northern lower Michigan and as well as upper Michigan for Thursday night going into Friday morning. But as we get into Friday, a strong area of Canadian high pressure will begin to build down into the western Great Lakes region. Things will begin to clear out as we go through the day on Friday, with light winds developing on Friday night, and this will set the stage for some rather cool temperatures and even downright cold temperatures by Saturday morning, with many inland areas dropping into the 30s, and even some upper 20s are even possible across those colder spots of northern lower Michigan. And this will, of course, spell a frost potential for Friday night going into Saturday morning. But as we get in Saturday, that area of high pressure will drift down through lower Michigan through the day. This will bring abundant sunshine to the region on Saturday, along with temperatures rebounding back to the 60s. A great afternoon for Saturday college football. So wrapping it up, rain will become focused across northern lower Michigan tonight as that cold front sags down through the area. Some additional Showers and thunderstorms are possible again on Wednesday as that front continues to work its way on south. And then substantially cool, colder air with below normal temperatures arriving for the end of the work week with that frost potential on Friday night. But for tonight, still mild. And again, that rain threat spreads south into northern lower Michigan. Over, overnight low temperatures will be in the upper 50s to the middle 60s across northern Michigan. And just recapping those hazards once again. There's a slight chance for thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon. Scattered storms expected tonight, mainly across northern lower Michigan, and again, that potential for some heavier rainfall. And then frost late Friday night into Saturday morning. That concludes this hazardous weather briefing for this afternoon. Thanks for listening in. The next update will occur around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.